Mungu ahusishwe katika masomo yetu na katika mtihani wetu. Ama namna gani? Kama unalala sema amen. Eh. Hey. Hao <laughs> wote wanalala. Hao wote wanalala. Hebu ni nene na wanafunzi kwa dakika kumi alafu ndio kanamaliza. Students are you there? I mean candidates. Candidates listen to me very carefully. God has no problem making you pass. God is very faithful. The Bible says he's a rewarder of them that seek him diligently. I wanted to know that God has no problem making all of you go to the university. But please understand today in pursuit, in our pursuit for success in life, that is what we call man's responsibility in fulfilling God's purpose in your life. Covenant is in two parts. Say my covenant. And as covenant practitioners, those of you that believe in God, everyone under the sound of my voice, as long as you believe in God, I want you to know there is what God does and there is what you must do. You have a responsibility. You are obligated to do your part of the responsibility. Now listen. Listen. I want to give you three nuggets. How many nuggets? Three nuggets that are critical. I'm talking about candidates. And the students, the rest of you that are in Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3, you may still borrow a lift from what I'm going to say today. I can assure you that you will find it critically very important in your educational process. Somebody say, talk to me. As you get towards the finishing line, I want to appreciate you, every candidate, under the sound of my voice. I salute you today for your four-year academic journey. It's not been easy for you boys and girls. You may have gone through issues in Form 1. You didn't have it easy in Form 2. In Form 3, you may have gone through hell. But today, I salute you because you've come a long way. Finally, you are in Form 4. And that is where you missed a place to give a clap for them. These guys have done well. These guys have done well. I salute you today. Thank you for your four-year academic journey. And listen, as you go through the last lap, of the many lapses you've had, I pray that you will have a strong finish. And so I suggest to you three things that you must put in place. Number one, listen very carefully. Number one, you must have your attitude in place. Say attitude. There are four words that describe the word attitude. Number one, perspective. Number two, perception. Number three, mentality, and number four, mindset. Those four awesome words describe that reflect your attitude as a student. Three areas, very critical areas, that will reflect your attitude as a student. And so whether you're in form one, two, three, or four, you will still need number two, attitude towards the subjects you're doing and the teachers that teach them. Number three, attitude towards your learning environment, which is your school. What was number one? Attitude towards self. What was number two? Attitude towards the subjects you're doing and the teachers that teach them. Number three? It was as number three. Attitude towards your learning environment, which is your school. Madam Principal, I came to realize there are students who fail not because they did not have potential to pass. But they fail because they have a low regard of who they are. It is around this time that some candidates begin to struggle with what you call self-esteem into their spirits. And by fear getting into their hearts, their confidence level begins to go down. And so some of them, as I'm talking right now, they're engulfed in fear. They're already telling themselves, I don't have what it takes to pass. There are those who are already speaking so negatively about themselves. But today I came to tell every candidate under the 
the sound of my voice, but if you believe in God and believe in yourself, you can make it in this life. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter what happened to you in form three, what happened to you in form two, what you went through in form one. I came to make a declaration. You can't succeed in this life. You can't make it in this life. You can't go to the university. Say yes! Wazazi ni mekuja kuambia watuto wenyu watatogoa. Watapita mitiani. Wanaweza kuwa ni maskini kwa nyumbani lakini watafaulu. Kwa hivyo wasijidharau ama namna gani? Shule. Lakini nimekuja nikwambia wewe uye katika form 4 leo jitie moyo na ujiamini na uamini katika Mungu na useme mimi nitakuwa mtu wa kwanza kuendesha plano katika jamii yangu. Sema mimi nitakuwa mtu wa kwanza university katika uko wangu ama na mnani kwani uko nini sote na hivyo tumuulize kwani uko nini na kama iko uko wapi pongo sana bwana fi sana bwana fi weka mkono wako sema nitatoboa sema nitatoboa say i believe in god and i believe in myself Say, I may have gone through hell. It's not been easy for me in my yester years. Say, I may have failed before. But this time round, I will make it. I will shine. I will go to the university. We will hit our target. Yes! Attitude towards self is very important. Ama namna gani? Watu wanaweza wakakuamini lakini usipojiamini mwenyewe utafanya nini? Wazazi wako wanaweza wakakuamini. Shule ikakuamini lakini we mwenyewe ukakosa kufanya nini? Kujiamini. Alafu unaanza kuongea mbaya mbaya, unaanza kusema mimi nitaanguka tu. Mimi vile naona hii mtihani nimeshaanguka kabla hata nifanye nini? Yeye ndiye alikuwa Attitude to what the subjects are doing. Listen, all subjects are equal. Don't be cheated that you must fail in mathematics. Don't believe that you must fail in sciences. All subjects are equal. Say that with me, everyone. All subjects are equal. Say it louder. All subjects are equal. All subjects are equal. All you need to do is to put in the right level of effort. Why? Because there is no prize without the prize. Say that with me. There is no prize without the prize. Prize for the reward. Price for the cost of the reward. I want you to know the air you desire to get. I want you to know how many of you desire to get to the university. Show me by the show. Show me by lifting up your hand. You desire to go to the university. Good. Listen. Going to the university, getting C plus and above, becoming a doctor, becoming an engineer. And by the way, I'm so encouraged by looking into the brightness of your faces. I'm able to see lecturers amongst you. I'm able to see medical doctors amongst you. I'm able to see engineers amongst you. I'm able to see high school teachers amongst you. I'm able to see national high school principals amongst you. Say yes! But I wanted to know the doctor you desire to be, the engineer you want to be, the lawyer that you desire to be, the high school teacher that you desire to be does not come to you on a silver plate. Why? Because there is no product without a process. Say that with me. There is no product without a process. C plus is a product. There is a process that produces C plus. Becoming a teacher like most, uh, like these teachers are today, that is a product. There is a processing that finally produces teachers. Are you hearing me? 
And so I tell you today, there is a highway you must walk in if you must end up as a particular product. You can't, you, you cannot behave anyhow. You wake up any time you want. You do things like any Tom, they can hurry around you and expect to end up as a particular good product. Somebody say, talk to me. Listen very carefully. All subjects are evil. And I close on attitude. As I close on attitude, please listen. You must love your school. I've told you I'm mentoring so many national schools. Hello? Hey, hello? Na hebu ni wasaidieni watayini wawetu waelewe kitu moja. Mimi ni mentor wa Lugulu Girls. Nimekuambia the Phoenix class of Lugulu Girls have a target of 10.4. I was in Moy High School couple like the other day. I've been mentoring them for the whole year. They have a target of 11.2. Hello? Hello? The same girls are targeting 8.8. .8, the Deborah's class, the form force. Mid-key girls are targeting 8.5. Ebu ni kwambi. Hawa walimu mna waona wa meketi hapa. Na wale walimu wana wafunza lugulu girls. Wana wafunza Moy girls and Doris. Wana wafunza Tapsabit boys. Wana wafunza Tapsabit boys. 